drill to acclimate the public to global governance and surveillance on a totally and completely new level. And <clears throat> that brings me to my next story. Uh, Teleatlas photorealistic city models to aid and nav aid navigation terrorism. Navigation devices are everywhere and just keep getting better and better thanks to 3D maps provided by the likes of Teleatlas uh, and Navitech. Now Teleatlas is announcing its photorealistic advanced city models destined for in-car and portable navigation systems and mobile devices, which I think is cool. But in June, Teleatlas will release 40 maps based on BLOM aerial imagery for cities across Europe. Hundreds of more cities, including those in North America and Asia, will be available in 2010. Remember, Google already has laid ink to paper to give the rights to Teleatlas Maps for its Google mobile, desktop, and online offerings. And with Teleatlas Maps loaded to PSPs, navigators such as Pioneer, Mio, and of course TomTom, just think of what's to come. And remember, it's to fight terrorism. It's not to get you around to fight terrorism. Just another tool to spy on the populace. We'll be back with Ryan, Ryan, and more. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmas, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. Whoopee, we're all going down. All right, folks. You know, I've been bashing the RFIDs all day, and I'm going to continue to do so. This one's out of, uh, what is this, um, tech analysis, I think it is. Soon it'll be quite smart if it's tagged with radio frequency identification. What are they talking about? Seafood. IBM Smart Food, let me say that again, IBM Smart Food Initiative provides businesses and governments with the technology and expertise needed to create a smarter, safer food supply for consumers around the world. What this really means <clears throat> is with this RFID system, they're going to ensure that you're getting GMO, non-nutritious, not-so-delicious food that is just stripped of all nutrients. As of May 18th, IBM announced a pilot project in Vietnam to deliver a system that will use RFID to track Vietnamese seafood exports. Apparently a market worth more than $4.5 billion in 2008, according to IBM. We, all, we will all be able to answer precisely the awkward questions like, it's 2 a.m., do you know where your shrimp is? <laughs> So RFIDs literally being used everywhere for everything. And we went over the really moat-sized Mitsub... What is it? No, Hitachi. It was a Hitachi chip. And it is ultra, ultra small. All right, let's continue to take your calls. Ryan in California, you're on the air, sir. Check, check. Check, check. All right, good. Coming through. Hey, good to finally talk to you. I have two points and a question I want to get across. Um, you and Alex are working very hard to try and... Uh, emphasize the corruption and how dark our government is. And one of the best ways of uh, getting that across is to listen to people who have actually got, uh, come from the, uh, the inside, who have talked about the corruption that they've been a part of. Um, so I'm going to recommend a YouTube channel. It's called The Fifth Seal, S-E-A-L. Uh, mm -hmm. This guy has interviews with uh, spies who've been in the CIA, who have done everything from black bag ops to wet work to smuggling drugs. And, of course, that's, that's pretty well known by now. They also have uh, interviews of mind control victims who were uh, who were instigated into being uh, into a uh, mind control through satanic rituals, mm -hmm. and uh, so it, it, yeah, this is a good way to I think you know you know, some of this. Well, you know what? Let me let me suggest some something for people to go check out to just see how uh, corrupt the government can get. Go check out Conspiracy of Silence, which is on the web. It's about uh, an hour long, and it's really it's it's about a lot of the things that you're talking about. I mean, literally the drug running works into it. Uh, the SRA or satanic ritual abuse works into it, and the child molestation also works into it. And it is quite an eye opener if you haven't seen Conspiracy of S Silence. Go ahead, Ryan. Yeah, good, good, good stuff, and I'll look that up too. Um, lastly, I was uh, in, in kind of tuned to some of these other comments, and maybe a different uh, caller who you said my, my call in or has already called in. Uh, there was this, this uh, video online of, of Alex maybe having a short. A short fit, and people you know, like to blow that out of proportion and, and show uh, maybe his, his blind spots, as you like to say. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just a sea of trash when it came to comments. So I came out and you know just presented the truth, and you know I got I got trashed for that as well. Uh, there was a guy who, and it was unbelievable. You, you know they call us nuts. Uh, mm -hmm. This guy kind of transcended that into the next level. He says Alex is part of the uh, he's a Jesuit. And then he's part of the Vatican Secret Society. He's part of Project Markingbird. Uh -huh. And his whole 
mission is to is to spread this info by making people think that he's alternative media mm-hmm. and actually he's part of mainstream media and he's just and meanwhile he provides no evidence i know exactly who you're talking about there's no yeah, evidence no, whatsoever no evidence. Well, like little, little blurbs you know he'll spit out and then he he uses those and he kind of tips them on their head and he turns them around and you would know, change of a different color and it makes it look like it might have some connection with corruption but no it's well it's one of the things like, that guy produces is he shows this picture of some guy in drag and claims that it's alex jones in drag i can promise you alex jones has never been in drag ever and i've seen the picture it doesn't look anything like alex and then they try to say like no. connections with the sheen family who are devout jesuits apparently charlie sheen's father goes to a you know knows some jesuit priest or whatever who cares i mean it's not like charlie sheen is calling the office or alex's house every day of the week it's you know he has a relationship with charlie but it's barely there you know they I, it just blows my mind how people can take one small thing blow it out of proportion and say here's the evidence yeah, well, we're trying to present real corruption here, and this guy is chasing his tail trying to make connections that really don't exist. My last question, I've heard a rumor that uh, there may be an info war or prison plant dating site you guys are trying to develop. A dating that's, site? Really? I, I don't know. Are we I, doing I, that? Is that true? Oh, no, no. I mean, Paul's giving me the... Way to make the money. Jones has been talking about it. Look at that. I don't know anything about it, but I guess we're, we are... I know we've tried to set up, like, a Facebook or a MySpace where you could meet chicks, possibly, so... Who knows, man? Maybe it is on the horizon. I thank you for the call. We're going to continue to take your calls. Hit the news. I still got a stacker right here. It's the InfoWars with Jason Burvis, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com.